Hey. What a YouTube gem. What a YouTube gem. Jurassic World Trap Remix in the house. What, what's that? What's the quote? They were so preoccupied with whether they could, they didn't stop to think <laughs> if they should. Yep. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, they should have. I'm glad they did. I feel like you'll need it at 2 to 3 to 4 a.m. <laughs> we going to run it back? Welcome, welcome everybody to a very Jurassic Noun O'Clock light at the Noun Square. Jurassic, of course, because we're staring at the beautiful face of a dinosaur noun, Noun 577. We FOMO'd it yesterday by request, by request uh, for for Mr. Ben Jarman, who has uh, a fish on the line, uh, some people that, that are hoping to buy it. I'm going to try to bring him up here, though, to get uh, an update on that, see how it's going. I know they were uh, they were getting some some cross-bidding. Let's just check the auction here. Um, so, yeah, it looks like 34 ETH was the bid from Nate Rivers, um, who last I heard was a, Sol- who was a Solana Maxi, but perhaps has changed his mind. Um, <laughs> maybe he was brought over from the Ute dudes. I don't know. But he's interested. He's been bidding on a couple nouns recently. Try to get his attention. We sent out a tweet, but we haven't haven't heard yet. We'd like to have you on the show uh, to talk about what piqued your interest here in nouns, Mr. Rivers. But we do have a new bid, 3468, and actually only 39 seconds remaining. What happened to the auction? We got carried away there with the trap remix. 33 <laughs> seconds left in the auction for Shan96, with, which I do think is Ben's friends. Ben's friends. So I think that our FOMO will have paid off if there's no bids coming in in the next 10 seconds. And if that's the case, please join us on FOMONouns.wtf as soon as Four, these 15 seconds three. are gone. Wait, what? Oh, no. Pen- pending bid. Oh, no. We got a oh, new bid. Oh, new bid. Oh, new oh, bid. Oh, we got a new bid. Here to turn we it up. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Oh, turn it up, we'll the turn up at the last second. <laughs> that, did it go through? No, it didn't. Oh, it, didn't. Oh, it, it didn't go through. It didn't go through. Didn't it didn't go through. It didn't make it. Oh. Did not make it. Turn up. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. I don't lie, but the FOMO is on. I guess you could say turn up turned up a little too late. Yeah, yeah a little turned up a little too late. I'm going to write that one down. That was that was rough. <laughs> we like it. Right, right, like now, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I believe, guys, this is important. I believe we need another dino. I know it's crazy. Yeah, we well, need yeah. this I dino. Think that was the plan. They want another one. Okay, you Nobody do that. Okay, little, little, Ooh, that's a yeah, good need another one. Need to now. Right, for the dino, so. Another, another dino or. As far as I'm concerned, it's a known quantity. They bought the first one, so this is not like a this is not a bankless situation. So I think we can safely FOMO another dino, double dino. Yeah, let's Let's do it. Let's do it. Notice to anyone who asks us to FOMO something and doesn't then bid on the noun. We will remember. <laughs> we will always remember. <laughs> yeah, we still have a big bankless. That was last year. We always <laughs> big, big, big bankless fan. We'll never I've not never be a fan never. of bankless. We'll never yeah, not be a fan of bankless. Fan. But nonetheless, <laughs> we can't let them off the hook. LOL pie. Has there ever been a pie pie? That would be a good one. That would be a good one. Pie accessory pie. Double pie. Yo cow. Yeah. Man, Has there ever been a pie? Yesterday. Yesterday the dino came like at the second. It was like number yeah, three. So second part. let's see I how long it's going to be here quick. today. Hey Ben, Ben, that's a clean make sure we're going for another dino here or a crocodile. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you can go for another dino, that'd be nice. I'll All right. For two. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, Ben, we're going for another dino. We we want to do some marathon sessions anyway. I think the you got dino you got might dinos be coming on the mind to drop in. I'm trying to oh, get him nice. to catch winters on stage. Oh, that'd be oh, awesome. That'd be he awesome. can explain his own path to here. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. What's the d- his own actions? I'm, I'm really glad he got it. I'm glad that Turnup didn't make it through. <laughs> Poor Turnup. I hope per- <laughs> Turnup gets another opportunity. But How about tomorrow we can try to mint a little... I guess we don't have a little Turnup. We have a little beat. There's a radish. Oh, no, it's not a radish. It's yeah, a beat. Beat. <laughs> that is a beat. Yeah. 
I thought Jack all and the same. Same. Like the same, turn right? I kind of like all, this, all those, two red, chains. all those vegetables look the same and no one eats them. So, you know. Ouch. Uh, what? Shots fired. Shots I fired. Shots I hope no radishes fired. are turned in. Shots fired <laughs> at root vegetables. Not potatoes, though. It's great. Uh, you don't love a bee. Yeah, that's that's another good wood hedge. Uh, Same guys. To yeah, you are being mean to beets. No, I said you don't like a beet, like a like a nice goat cheese beet salad. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, let's let's be well, honest pizza. here. The only thing saving that salad is the goat cheese, and you know it, and I know it. Uh, that that is the perfect <laughs> topping for a pizza too. Oof, that was a clean. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this little mouse. How do I? <laughs> It's quite a nice thing. Do you guys are too How do you start this conversation yesterday. with dinosaurs and wind up on food crimes? I don't understand. It's a very smart <laughs> private space. Well, it is dinner time. There's no understanding. There is only talking. <laughs> you know what? This is the that model is, of TMS. That, that summarizes this section of the <laughs> oh, show. No one is saying oh, no one is, is that saying it, <laughs> filtering anything. Yeah, yeah, if you can make sense. That is nice. Do you think Bud Light would buy another now? For you, for you, buy the first now but maybe they would trade I mean, for this one? I mean, if they'd go to that one, they would, they, would, they would buy this now. And it, it has the blue noggles. So. Duck food. Who would, would buy it? Holy hand grenade. If only oh, you could go back to That's so time. similar to one of the uh, crabs we've got before, I think. <laughs> the the yeah. other crab is yeah. now. Yeah, I have to get I like the I like the crab, and yeah. I am a cancer, so maybe I should try to get a, a cancer now. Yeah, true. I'd like to go to a bright mm-hmm. island right now. <laughs> but that would mean I would have to get a shower head because I'm Aquarius. <laughs> Yeah, you and Boney, right. you and Boney can get the shower head. I get to get one oh my of the God, so Robot Fish Girl, when Aqua Dow? Just you and you and Boney. Just me and Boney. <laughs> you just you and Boney in the shower with a noun. <laughs> well, there's a mental image I didn't need. Thank you for that. Uh... <laughs> oh, you you don't you may not remember, but that's his office, so it's nothing untoward. I sent Boney a, yeah. a video earlier today of one of my kids uh, saying the the only way is the Boney way. It was pretty cute. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's cute until he says it at the Montessori, and then you get a call. <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not like seeing red. This is a this is a nice noun, even if we did get rugged. Yeah. I think this is the first time uh, that we've ever been yeah. rugged by someone who was on tilt. That's what happened to me. And you know what happened? We'll turn yep. up. They were like, oh, I didn't win the auction. You know what? I'm going to rug this so I can start bidding again. That's crazy. I'm going by the in. way, turn speaking up. of uh, turn, speaking turn, of. Turn, point- turn. Oh. Speaking of getting rugged, we should uh, we should go over to Nomo Nomo.wtf. It starts in twenty seconds. Yeah. Okay, well hurry up then. Yeah. N o m o .wtf. On a wallet connect. Choose your character. <laughs> and what what do we do? What do we do? We get to pick your favorite the noun and click down. it to save as fast as you can. A bunch of them are going to be eliminated every couple seconds, and uh, we're just going to keep going until we've only got <laughs> one left. Bell, yeah. I really okay, like this rain cloud. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Connect your wallet to play. Dude, the ape is sick. Yeah, you have to connect your wallet to play. Do not forget to connect your wallet. Oh, yeah. If you I'm do not have your wallet board. connected, you are clicking and nothing is happening. That we should gift, gift a couple to uh, Bud Light. Or if we could... Oh, it's already gone. Oh, All right, fine. I'm switching to Bud Light. Light. What is that accessory? Does it have the blue noggle? The, that's the, the holy hand grenade. grenade. It's the uh, it's the same it's the same accessory that they have on their noun. It is really. Yeah. No. What is a holy? The actual grenade? name for it is no, insignia, the but I told it the holy hand grenade in June, and nobody I'm, I'm, has I'm, ever I'm, recovered. <laughs> oh, I'm with you, Devin. Yeah. I'm, like yeah. the escape the I'm, I'm still going for this about. rain cloud, but I don't think we're gonna get it. Especially because I packed my mouse already. Oh, is that okay? Let's trade them some nomos for everyone. everyone I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid like go to nomo. 
Yeah. We should like miss like hat. 50 it's of this now and then give them out to random Bud Light holders. That'd be cool. That would actually be really cool. We should do that. Uh, I the next one the a, pre a present from TNS to you to mirror the uh, the not novels that we got. Nars, knock it off, unless we, <laughs> unless we didn't get, up, yeah, unless Nars, Nars beats us. Nars, oh, hey, oh, we oh, won oh, by seven. Seven wow. clicks. We don't have Akba, so Akba team close. player, bud. Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know it was you, though, Ak, but you and Ben Body were trying to sabotage. I, I was trying to get one of those and... yellow bells, the noun bell, blending into the background until it got knocked off. And now I'm like, oh, well, skateboard it is. Yeah, that's a nice one. This, this one's pretty nice, too. Again, similar to the pineapple, this one looks like it's lying in a pool of its own. It's blood, like a so. drinking metal. Uh, no, it gets the drink, gets the metal. Yeah. You win the, it's win good. The it's good. Yeah, thank you for playing Nomo with us, by the way, everybody. It's a fun game that we made here at TNS uh, to make sure that we always have something chaotic and fun to play with you here live on the Noun Square, Noun O'Clock. Uh, if you'd like to remember you were here with us, you can mint one now uh, for $10.52 USD. The price, unfortunately, has gone up on these uh, in the past week, uh, but only because... Now it's like Victoria... a really luxury coffee. Like how, <laughs> yeah, lux only... <laughs> how luxurious is your coffee now? Yeah. I know. If, if, Ethereum, if Ethereum would stop going up, then the price of uh, Nomos would, would stop also going up. It's, so... now like, it's now like the price of a spiked drink. Yeah, we're, we're up to like organic yeah. smoothie level. Now. <laughs> All right, I'm minting 20 here to give out to... Jesus. This, is this smart? I think it's yeah. smart. Yeah. I think it's a good idea, idea. yeah. yeah. Oh, Ben! Ben got one and two. I got three and four. I got the first one for once. Yes. You hey. beat me. Oh. I've never got a number one. You're a beast. I blame Optoshi's internet. Yeah, I mean, mine. Hey, I, mine was so quick today. <laughs> hey, Bun. Bun. Hey, Bun. Bun Body. Tell us about Bun. <laughs> Bun, bun body sounds like bun, 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 bun body sounds like a, a late night TV exercise regime that they're trying to sell to you. <laughs> 80, With only three weeks bun of bun body. body, your buns will be the best they've ever been. Uh, bun, bun body tell for us only about thirty minutes a day. It's just, it's just like some twisted metal contraption. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Exactly. There's absolutely no way that it could ever affect anything on your body, but <laughs> it does fit in a shipping container that is easy to send to you. So, uh, Ben, tell us about Nomo nouns and, and minting Nomo nouns and, and what that's all about and, and what you might be able to use Nomos for in the coming month. Yeah. So, uh, basically, Nomo nouns is uh, our chance to get our own daily noun uh, as an addition that we saved from the blockchain after playing FOMO because while we watch and play FOMO we connect with all these nouns and then we watch them all disappear into the ether so it's nice to be able to grab your favorite one of those again and it supports the show so all of the all the funds from this go 100% to TNS and support us continuing what we do here um, and yeah we're working on some pretty cool aspects to it um i've started working on some mock-ups for some ideas that i haven't shown anybody yet which is awesome um but yeah this is going to be a pretty fun thing to collect and uh also v2 v2 of nomo is is in production as well volky's working on some some new stuff coming down the lines so. yeah yeah are we peeled. adding the grinder the what? i'm sorry what joshua yeah, we. Grinder. I don't know if we can do that, Josh. <laughs> were they, I don't. Were, they, were the were the ones that like that we don't vote for fall down the funnel and get grinded up? Oh, that's pretty sorry. cool. I thought I thought it was like I I thought it showed you some interesting gentlemen in your area and you had to click the ones you liked a lot until you, <laughs> until you find your favorite. I one. mean, no, that, I'd that's be not, down, that's but it it's, like, it's like a <laughs> grinder no more. Coming in V2. There, there may or may there's not a, there's be. There's like multiple ways for them to have fatalities. I think it's like, you know, different different things could happen to them. They could burn up. They could, all sorts of stuff could happen. Well, I definitely think we should. That would be really cool, of... but I'm also going to take your idea of a super gay Nomo fork and run with it. <laughs> hey, yeah. do you? Hey, CC0. Yeah. My ideas are for anyone to take. We we just open sourced the repo like a couple days ago as well. So it's open for forking. And 
Uh, but yeah, some of the things. Yeah. One one of the things uh, is actually along those lines with like a, a cemetery along the bottom has been spoken about uh, some stats so you can see like currently who's the fastest and highest clicker. Uh, hoping to do some cumulative stats as well, and you know mint some extra things based on hitting certain targets and stuff like that. Um, there's also some gamification in terms of, I mean, these aren't even guaranteed, right? Like I'm just going to lay all these ideas out with the team and we can figure out which ones are going to get implemented. But um, yeah, some gamification in terms of collecting particular patterns. Like if you co collect the, the Fibonacci sequence, you can burn like three or five or seven in the row of the Fibonacci sequence, or maybe even the Fibonacci numbers actually of the sequence in IDs and then burn them for some other special nomo. Um, you talking about collecting the Fibonacci sequence in the ID numbers of yes, se sir. like sequential nomos? <laughs> yeah. um, well, I'm just gonna. Oh my days! I just want to game. Yo, Ben, Ben, pass the good shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> pass the good shit in the Fibonacci <laughs> so, sequence. Like, this we're one, gonna this do one. some really, really simple stuff, like <laughs> you know, and then we're gonna do some really intense stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you could just listen to some tool or something, and it'll just it, bake the Fibonacci se sequence into your brain. And then uh, that that might help. True. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's some there's some cool features, and um, I'm currently designing an interface for uh, the collection. So instead of just like looking at them mashed around in your wallet on OpenSea or Luxray or anything, uh, you'll be able to see which ones you have, which ones you're missing, how many you've got, and then like uh, the dream is to have like. Is a there any chance interface. you could like? Sorry, I don't mean it, but now you're just spinning out all these ideas. Is there any chance they could be displayed along with the noun that was minted? Yeah, that absolutely could. That's, yeah, that, that's actually probably pretty easy, actually. Uh, I haven't really thought of it in that context. Uh, like, I've been thinking more of, like, a gallery where you can see all the nomos in a row and there's, like, hollow bits. It's like if you bought, uh, like, a, a basketball card collection catalog and you can see behind it what you're missing. And you're like, oh, I really need to get that card. But I've got three of these cards. And, you know, you can swap one of them with someone else. And you can see other people's and, like, do some swaps and things like that. Um, I love it. Yeah, it should be fun. Please, please don't whisper <laughs> like that. That's yeah. Very, very <laughs> I, I had a question, but then I forgot immediately what that was. Jo Josh was on one tonight. <laughs> He's, like, whispering at us, <laughs> trying to get us to I, I had to make up with apps. those other nights that I was so subdued. <laughs> so, hey, what were you saying, Fishy? Um, I had a question, but the whisper did throw me off. Um, I honestly don't remember. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, do you need FOMO to fork Nomo? Like, does your DAO have to incorporate a FOMO with your auction, or can no. you just have Nomo without? You that? can have Nomo. Uh, it, Nomo itself only actually relies on the core nouns auction, so. If you fork it and then were to do, say, food nouns, then each time yes. a food noun was um, minted, then it would grab the, the the last 30 blocks right prior to that mint. So, yeah, you can play this on any – and that, that was designed on purpose, so anyone could fork this later and uh, add it to any other uh, nounish DAO contract. In all honesty, though, we've talked a lot in the Nomo uh, dev group about Nomo as a service, and I, I think it does have a lot of – potential uh just because people love playing it so much i think they love playing it more than fomo not that fomo's bad or anything but it's just the the frantic clicking is just so yeah something special so i mean i think we will see it used the, the whole the whole ultimate. vision kind of came about i remember the call that we had on tns it was like a, a team meeting where uh, a few of us were still there and just had a bit of a chat like how we can generate funds for the show and then i was like well I, you know the the clicking that insane clicking on the emojis on the nine o'clock app front end because this was actually my original concept was to tie that in with the front end uh so you know i think once we started t talking about this concept of nomo and then i saw that clicking i was like oh my god and then i felt like we just had to have that like that's that mashing is just so much fun and because we're just doing it on emojis for fun on the other interface so it was like well let's make that do something yeah, and some people were making scripts to do it for them, but I mean, we won't <laughs> we won't talk about that. Yeah, then. Someone's obsessive. I can't help it. 
Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I actually haven't run that on Noma. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a crack and see if our rate limiter actually works. I think it will work. I think it works on Robot Fish Girl. I think she's she, she's normally humanly faster than that, but it slows yeah. you down. It uh, yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I also was doing a little bit of research, and I noticed that there's people that set up their uh, mouse wheels in the middle of the mouse on like crazy bearings and then they hit them with like an air compressed can and just blow it really fast with a can and it, it's oh like millions and millions of Why? it's insane <laughs> you can achieve a similar result by just having each uh, click of the mouse wheel click the mouse 10 oh, times to set it up as a macro I thought you were going to yeah. say by having uh, a life Right. Well, I wouldn't know, but presumably that would also work. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes you slower, Clicker. <laughs> oh, that's true. No, because Nomo is yeah. life. Huh? Got you there. Exactly. Oh. Um, what, what else is what else is new? We got a couple new proposals that just dropped. On now. New new Let's have a look. New 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 yeah. copy pasta. New property pasta just, just property dropped. Pasta, that's not good. <laughs> uh, David Horvath. Oh yeah, exactly. We got David Horvath's yeah. Noun Studio One extension. Yes, sir. And Mr. David dropped into the Noun Square Discord today to chat with us. So if you're not in the Noun Square Discord, what you doing, bro? What you doing, sis? Get in there. Um, someone should should post it above. Actually, if if we could, we got no yep, pin on- tweets up there. We're, we're 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 falling behind here in our DJ hours. Yeah, very sorry about uh, that. Let's get some pin pin tweets up there. I, I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. But let's but let's get a link at least to the Discord so people can drop in there and see what David was talking about today. Uh, David's a really awesome guy. He's, he's if you don't know who David Horvath is, you should definitely look him up. Give him a follow. Um, he's actually one of the pioneers of CC0, um, the, the first ever NFT collection that was released CC0 was not Noun, so the Nouns was close to first. It was actually Uma No Copyright, which was a character designed by David Horvath. A lot of people don't know that. Um, he's done a lot of uh, really cool characters like Bossy Bear and some other ones that are really popular, really huge in Japan especially, but also this side of the pond. And uh, just a really awesome guy. Every time he comes on Spaces, it's uh, it's like sitting in, in uh, the best lecture ever. He's always got lots of interesting stuff to say. And to that end, as you know, we've started doing a new weekly nouns call. Uh, just a call for the DAO for everyone to come come together and uh, in public discuss proposals and everything else that's going on in the DAO. That's happening Tuesdays at 2 p.m. EST in collaboration with Nouns Agora. Uh, David Horvath will be one of our guests on Tuesday, as well as uh, our lovely Aptoshi here as well, uh, to talk about her proposal, which will still be open at that time. Uh, Or I should say it will actually be open at that time because it hasn't opened for voting yet. It's uh, kind of an interesting dynamic now with with the waiting period and and everything. It feels like your props have been live for a week already, Aptoshi, but hasn't even started. (laughs) Hasn't even started. But by the time we're on the show tomorrow, it will have started. So if you join us here tomorrow, which I'm sure you will, uh, for 9 o'clock live, we're actually going to be chatting with a brand new nouner tomorrow on our first regular non-light show of the week, Zero X Piney. Remember that amazing pineapple that we saw promo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, The buyer has made his name Zero X Piney on Discord and Twitter. We sent out a little invitation and uh, even though he was, awesome. uh, he, he did come back to me super polite. He's like, sir, I just do want to ask, though, is there a reason why you've chosen this time for your space? Could it not be any other time? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know what? Yes, it could be almost any other time of the day, but it's not. So uh, anyway, more, it has program. been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. L- lucky enough, though, lucky enough, uh, he is PST. Uh, so... Yeah, he is PST, which makes it a little bit, just a little tiny bit easier. So Bearable. Yeah, what's that, like midnight or something yeah. at the moment? Or it'll, it'll probably be midnight-ish by the time we get to tomorrow, I guess. Or it, that, maybe a little bit before even. So you shouldn't even be for a, for a pineapple, that's not even late, you know? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. But a anyways. pineapple is totally <laughs> fine at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. I knew you would, I knew you would understand. Um, yeah, so looking forward to talking Nouns on the Ground and Noun Studio One uh, on Tuesday with uh, David Horvath and Abtoshi. Pretty pretty good roster. 
Um, later on next week, we've got a new prop that will be uh, going live as well. It already is up on nouns.wtf slash vote. Nouns Whiskey. That's an interesting one. What do you guys think of, of that one? It came through Nouncil, actually. They spoke to Nouncil several times, um, were voted on by Nouncilers to go up on chain, and now it, it's live on chain. I, what do you guys think? I think it yeah, took me a long time to prove Sorry, one at a time. Go, go Ben. I was just going to say, I think it took me a long time to proofread as as we put it up on chain for Nouncil. Because I, I had to read it inside mm. the note that's safe window, and that, that's quite hard. <laughs> but it was a good oh, I thought uh, I thought you were going to say it's because they sent you some samples to yeah. to, to read it. With. <laughs> Still trying to read it. <laughs> it took me a week to read this. Thing. It's a Wine it's took a while. Great. But no, it's it's an interesting prop. Uh, it's it's a uh, a collaboration between uh, a, a very small distillery. I shouldn't say small. A very niche, like a boutique distillery. Uh, and a marketing company in South Africa, and uh, they brew small batch whiskey. And they're basically doing a proposal here to do uh, a line of Nouns branded whiskey. Um, kind of interesting in the sense that there's going to be a barrel or some barrels, I guess, of the whiskey that's going to be reserved for Nouners, so they can they can order it for for free or for a discount. I, I honestly have to read this prop over again. It's been a while, but uh, let me see here. What I like about this, what I like about this prop is that uh, it's announced now Africa prop, and you know the distillery is in South Africa. And yeah. I, I was talking to now I know they, I don't know who runs the account, but I was asking them, okay, uh, do all nouns get free access to the nouns whiskey bar down in South Africa? And it's like, yeah, that's uh, that's probably something that uh, they could do. So I'm excited to see to see this uh, go through because I think productizing. This this reminds me of Nouns Coffee a lot. Uh, yeah. When when this comes out, and then you add like what Nounish is doing with the marketing and what they're going to do with marketing, we could have a whiskey global brand on our hands at this time. So it's exciting. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's really interesting, and they've done a great job with all the mockups and everything. They've obviously done this before for other brands, and it shows. So I think it'll be interesting. I, I'm really curious to see. Uh, what what the Dow thinks ultimately? I mean, it's it's 102 ETH, which you know is not a small investment, but not a huge investment either, and especially for a physical good in the sense that it's actually for whiskey. Like there's some whiskey that's going to be reserved for nouners. It's it's, uh, it's interesting. I think it'll be cool to see what people think. How do you guys think it's going to do with nouners? I actually think it's going to go down pretty well. Uh, I I don't know. I think there's something about um, you know, this kind of, I don't know what you call it, but this niche in particular to do with craft brewing and craft distillery and things like that, I think have quite a lot of mass appeal. Uh, but I, it's probably due to like the huge alcohol companies lobbying the entire planet to drink alcohol. But, you know, there's culture that builds in amongst that. And I think a lot of people resonate with that culture. So, you know, nounish as well. That's uh, I don't know. It's a nice little mix. Yeah, definitely. I also like how they made their own uh, whiskey barrel head, which just in involved changing the color of the stream of liquid coming from the wine yeah. head. But the still, wine really it's genius. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's they do make whiskey in red wine barrels. So yeah, I was about it, to it say it could could have been wine prior that they use for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. my, my favorite whiskeys are actually in, um, aged in stout barrels, so wine barrels say, makes perfect sense. When you guys are going out and stuff too, like, is if you're, we're going to order hard alcohol, is whiskey your number one? Like, are you whiskey people? I'm or, a rum guy, personally, but I don't mind whiskey. I, what? I, I, yeah, yeah, rum for me, too. I like yeah, sp I'm spice rum. I'm, Rum? Is the way. I'm, uh, I, I actually also mostly drink, whiskey, drink like black rum. spiced rum, <laughs> but I, I, I love whiskey. Spiced rum, it's, it's good. I, I, tequila That's... is like a good one for me. <laughs> I can't do tequila. Tequila is my my like. Well, that's because yeah. tequila isn't really a drink. People market tequila as a drink, but it's not one. It's it's a teleportation device that you imbibe. <laughs> it really is. That's why I, like I mean, it, it comes from a cactus, right? 
It's closer to uh, it's closer to the other hallucinogenics that come with cactuses, I think, <laughs> than it is to other alcohols. That's my yeah. Theory. Yeah, I think that's my attraction to it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, You're like, yeah, I can't I get know. any peyote, so tequila will have to do. Exactly. It's like it's, that's, that's how that's how vodka is for me too. It's like, well, why am I drinking this? There's no taste. There's no anything. Why am I on a tropical island? I, I drink. <laughs> I do drink vodka as well. Like, which is kind of a weird thing to drink straight. Not many people do drink it straight, but I thought you were going to say it's kind of a weird thing to brag about. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah were you, I thought you were about to weird flex, but okay, yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it is. I have been known to take a sip of vodka. Too. It's just good because the next day doesn't kill you. Like I, I can drink a lot of vodka on its own, and that is true. It's like so, yeah, yeah I'm good. So if I can tell the night's been crazy, I'm going to be swigging straight vodka instead of the whole mixture of things after the first sort of eight hours of drinking or whatever. Then it then it's straight. Yeah, yeah or just like four bottles of wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I know. I know a guy who had a really bad. I know a guy who had a really bad experience with gin, you know, when he was young, he drank too much gin and had a really bad night after that. And now he can't even smell juniper berries without wanting to. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. This, well, that's the other reaction. thing about gin is much like how tequila is actually a teleportation device. Gin is not a drink. Gin is mascara thinner. <laughs> <laughs> So why That's is it what so it delicious? Is. I, I, if it's so delicious, it's delicious then... but the the only time the stereotypical time you see someone drinking gin is if they're you know mid forties female and sitting on a flight of stairs. So <laughs> I take I take offense to this. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, have you guys taken? I am not in my mid forties. Uh, Defy Mike, whiskey? we got someone new here up on stage. Defy Mike, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the crowd. Did, did you come What's up good? to talk to us about your favorite nounish alcohol? Because apparently that's what we're talking about tonight. Noun alcohol? Bombay. What's that? I like that noun alcohol. I said Team no. Bombay. Team Bombay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, more, more gin lovers. Yeah, yeah. Bombay's not my favorite, but I, I do like gin. Gin and tonic. You just can't beat it. I don't know. It, I agree that it probably does taste a little bit like industrial cleaner, but in a good way. Uh, Fred, what do you think? <laughs> Hello, hi guys. Uh, I'm from the UK. It's uh, thank you for letting me speak. Uh, UK that. gang. And, uh, Welcome. What's the space about then? So this is a space that we do every day about nouns. Now, uh, you might not have guessed that based on the conversation over the past couple of minutes, but this is uh, on the weekend. We have a light format where we just kind of banter. But the idea of this space, uh, the general idea, is that we watch the end of the nouns Dow auction every day together. Are, are you aware of nouns Dow? I have no idea. What that is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you aware of NFTs at all? Are you in that space? Uh, it's that the uh, like a digital picture, so it's like a cryptocurrency, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So nouns is a little different than most of most of those, though, uh, in the sense that it's basically uh, kind of a club that you can you can buy the NFT to get into the club, but the main purpose is just to use the treasury to fund cool shit. So um, there's there's you know treasury has been used to do public goods uh, like funding uh, glasses, eyeglasses for kids who can't afford them. Um, they're they're you know for doing promotional projects like uh, putting a float in the Rose Parade, which was recently done. Um, and uh, oh, we lost him there, but I think he is still listening. Yeah, uh, oh, no, there he's back. Sorry, my, my Twitter was uh, was wigging out on me there. But yeah, so any basically any member can put up a proposal uh, to do cool stuff, and then everybody who owns a token can vote on it. Um, and then and then that's kind of how well, it works. That, that, that's cool as fuck. That's really cool. Yeah, we agree. We agree. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're interested to hear more about it, we do these spaces every day. So give us a follow up here. Yeah, yeah, man. And, uh, if you follow me, continue. I'll follow you straight back. I'm shit on Twitter, so I don't know how it works. But deal done, done nice deal. One. So, so I'm. Just, I'll give you a quick little background. So I'm from the north of England, which is a million miles yeah. away from America, uh, and I imagine mm-hmm. that most of you have never been where I'm from. So it, I used to live in uh, I used to live in Newcastle. So that's only dad. There you go. Yeah, I live in Aberdeen. Oh, really? My dad's from Newcastle. So. I used to live in Aberdeen. Yeah. I love that. Nice place, nice place. Yeah, Newcastle sound. Yeah. So I, I live uh, about two hours away from Liverpool. Uh, you'll know where Liverpool is, I'm assuming. No? <laughs> yeah, he said yeah. yes. You yeah, might yeah, have, absolutely. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you heard of Sheffield? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheffield, yeah, so yeah. Sheffield not, United, not, not Sheffield far Wednesday. from Sheffield, but yeah, it's really nice. I, to meet you I, I'm pretty sure Cardin. I'm pretty sure Cardno knows a few uh, Liverpudlians. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> uh, the, the, cool. Make sure you. Ch- he just wanted an excuse to say Liverpudlians, didn't you? Make sure you take oh, your tires because they'll steal your wheels. It's a flex. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's a flex so much. No, but... no that's it. Yeah, um, that's awesome what you're doing. It's, it's uh, thank you for letting me in. Anyway, appreciate it. For sure. One thing I didn't mention too is that you don't have to buy the token to participate. Uh, many of the people, even up on the stage, don't own Nouns tokens, but lots of people participate in the ecosystem and build stuff on top of it. It's uh, all around. It's all about open source uh, in these parts. So all the art, all, all of the code, everything that that's used for nouns DAO is open source. You can remix it. You can use it however you like. So if anything tickles your fancy, you can, you can get involved. Uh, that's really cool. So are you all from the same place or are you just spread about in America? People from, let's see, Canada, Australia, Wales, oh. Canada again, Brazil. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, so it's yeah, all over so, the place. Yeah. All over the US. <laughs> Although, admittedly, two of us on stage are in the same house yeah, at the yeah, moment. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not normal. House. That's not a normal thing. <laughs> that's not normal. No, that, that was really cool. It's not necessarily abnormal either, though. Like, we have a lot of meetups and stuff like that happening. So, it, yeah, we, that's been yeah, happening more of often than like like house. So, 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 who, who was the guy that said he was from Newcastle? Yeah, yeah was actually. Oh, sorry, did you hear me there? Sorry. Cardinal. Sorry, what was uh, that? Right? Who said he? Cardinal uh, from Newcastle. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was that was me, uh, Cardinal. Little pumpkin up the top there. I got brought on the team just because of uh, my geographical knowledge of the UK. So it's paying dividends <laughs> already for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I voted to bring him on because of the Welsh accent, but I don't know about anybody he else. Like some UK, <laughs> so both. Why not both? Why not, cool. why not both? Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah, guys. Are, I think both are. I think Fred had another question there that we uh, we missed. Go ahead, Fred. I was just saying that he sounds like he's from the UK, so it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's oh, right. yeah. yeah, from the UK, from where? I mean, if he's if he's not, he chose the hardest accent to fake. So, I, I think <laughs> do you think the UK accent's hard? Do you think? No, I think the Welsh accent is hard. If you're going to choose one of them, you know that Let's would go. be. You know, what? I, I was always told if you do the Welsh accent right, instead of saying "come here," you go "come yeah." So you go "yeah," and almost like you're. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we cracked the code, Cardinal. You go "come here, come here." We're Damn. On you. Come here. I'm getting replaced. Yeah, Fred, can you, Fred? When can you start? Are you, are you good tomorrow? This pumpkin's too expensive. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm we, hiring we, for uh, ten pounds an hour. <laughs> we've actually got another person on stage here, Web Three Beach. Uh, this was happening yesterday. A whole bunch of people who have never been to the space before showing up. Uh, yeah, how's it going, Web Three Beach? Hey, what's up? I've I've been following nouns for a long time now. Uh, big fan. I love what Uptosh is doing with um, kind of meeting people where they are with the nouns on the ground. I think that's one of my, my new favorite <laughs> TikTok accounts. And the Rose Parade also, that was really cool. That was such a such a great showing for project. It's just overall, I, I just love how widespread the ecosystem is, you know, from like extreme sports to a, a Latin, Latin America community to now I'm like hearing the talk of the whiskey. It's just so much cool stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm in Honduras. Our project is we, we're basically trying to accelerate web three education and adoption by giving people an on-ramp through public goods. So it's like participate in a beach cleanup and then, you know, create a wallet and you get uh, like a NFT for participation and you get a little bit of crypto and, yeah, we're so I'm I'm all about you know public goods and supporting public goods and you I think Nouns is probably doing it the most creative right now so big ups to everyone that's contributing. Well, that's something that we actually do here with our contests and stuff. We kind of uh, try and figure out how to get people active on the ground and doing uh, initiatives like that. Uh, Davin on stage here actually has done one of the most insane cleanups ever. With we've got a whole team together and hit the streets and filmed it all and had like nouns uniforms and everything it was crazy uh but yeah we we kind of run contests and prop house funding and things like that to help enable people do those kind of initiatives across the globe yeah if, if there's any way i could add value um without even like going through the, the getting funding or anything maybe just i don't know have have our beach cleanup people do some <laughs> some uh 
wear the shades or something. I don't know. I, I'd be yeah, happy. Let's go. Let's yes. do it. Let's like let's chat. And we'll figure out how to get you some a whole hey, bunch of jump in the TMS Discord. We we've got a link up. It's the second uh, pinned post in the uh, in the nest. Also, one one thing, and this is a little bit of alpha, but you'll remember that when we did our Nouns Give Back TikTok campaign in November, um, we the entire plan of that was to do it once and then enter it into the Nouns Go Viral competition on Propost to get funded the 4 ETH there to do it again. And so uh, Nouns Give Back Take Two is coming to TikTok within the next week. So that's some pretty big alpha to, to, uh, to drip. And I think that would be right up the alley of, of what you guys are doing. Cause it's a TikTok competition basically where you'll be doing some good in your community and then filming it and posting a video to our, our TikTok. So um, anyway, like, like they said, drop in our discord for sure. Give us a follow on the clock. I think you did already, which is awesome. And uh, start hanging out with us on our spaces every day. And I'm sure you'll, you'll not miss the news of, of when the next contest goes live. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks to all the public gooders. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, I think like, it's so fun that you're on the TikTok. I so love that. But from the TikTok, you'll see like, it's pretty simple. Like I myself am wearing noggles and then people are interacting with me. Um, and they do get like fun things like shirts and stuff too, but there's plenty of times and with people and they don't walk away with anything. So, um, that's why like what Davin did and what people are doing around the world and what your crew could totally do is just even like have the noggles on exactly like how you said. Um, and it does make a difference and stuff too, but it's always really awesome to hear about someone who's been watching nouns for a little bit and just really appreciate all the things that you said. Absolutely. Fred, you got your hand up. You got another question? It, but yeah, sort of the question, but sort of just a general uh, chat if that's okay so as far as I can tell you're talking about I guess everyone's quite liberal here is that right or is that wrong or... I would say that this space is not very political at all actually yeah, but I would say that definitely as, as, as far as values go though definitely I think that uh, one of the things a lot of nounish people share in common is definitely that public goods is, is, is hard to argue with right so I mean helping helping your fellow man is, is pretty so, hard to so, argue against so, so we, we do fund a lot of that kind of stuff of, uh, people you know and yeah like, exactly so, which I think is uh, a, a crypto native principle so, so I just wanted to offer a different perspective so I, obviously I'm from the UK I work for a social housing provider which is Effect it's council housing, so it's government funded housing yeah. for the homeless. So, my job is to house people that are homeless, and uh, we're going through a massive struggle at the moment where there's not enough housing to go around and people can't afford it. And it's uh, you know, it's, it's small time charities and small time you know, funds and places that are stopping people from being completely homeless with nowhere to go it, you know things like this mm -hmm. are so important because if they weren't here the government isn't doing enough and it would be a lot of people you know 16 17 18 to 60 years old just just homeless it's so these sort of things are so important there's a huge problem in the uk at the moment yeah i mean i think the uk is unfortunately not alone in that in that problem we have a huge problem here in canada as well especially with uh, the way things have been going recently with um, real real wages on the down on the downtrend for several years and and housing prices uh, doubling or tripling in some cases in some cities over the past few years it's it's caused a lot of crisis here also uh, so thank you first of all for the work that you do uh, people like you are super important and I'm I'm glad that you're you're there helping people in your community I appreciate that yeah sorry to bring you down on that but <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, no, I mean it's good. Yeah, it's these are things that are happening in our world. You can't just all be sunshine it, and rainbows. It's nice and I think to know that other people from different countries are aware of the situation. If that makes sense. Um, Yo, but Fred, if you could think of a way to like use funds to do something impactful and capture it in an authentic way, like maybe there's something you could do. You're hundred percent right. Yeah, hundred percent right. The, the the problem we've got at the moment is there. Uh, the government are stripping funds away from public services, so that's away from police, hospitals, uh, ambulances, uh, any any form of public service, so trains, buses, 
for stripping it as much as what could go wrong say that again sorry I said what could go wrong but exactly and that's the problem so everyone's not striking so we've got ambulance workers striking because they're overworked and we've got people waiting in hospitals for 13 hours um, and they're blue light you know emergency patients so at the moment the UK is in an absolute mess it's in a huge mess at the moment yeah, it's not, that's not great. That's for sure. Yeah, sorry, guys. That's just brought, but yeah, just like, brought a down on that one. <laughs> no, no, but like Joshua, like Joshua said, like Nouns does have definitely a history of, of liking to fund people who want to do good in their communities. So if you could find some way um, that sort of reflects Nouns and, and also helps the people of your community, it'd be super cool if we could help you get funded to, to do it. And I don't know what that would look like. I don't know if it's like, but, uh, even, well, like even in, Bra- the, in Brazil, even for example. People uh, and the fact that you guys are going through a similar thing, it's just making people aware of, you know, the UK has always been known for, you know, oh, free healthcare, but at the moment it's on its knees. It's just making people aware, isn't it? And yeah, I no, appreciate it. Anyway, cheers, guys. Well, thank thank you for sharing. Sure. Yeah, and, and you're not bringing anything down. These are, you know, problems that we all share in all the cities that we all live in. And um, I feel like I really highlight the fact that Nouns Dow in general, um, the reason why we would suggest that you could find a way for funding in any way, even if it was for minor relief programs, even if it was for food and water distribution to people or blankets or socks. Um, NounsDAO in general, the treasury itself is like a very unique uh, form of funding. And so it's very different from traditional funding. Uh, It's different from filing, you know, for a grant with a nonprofit. Um, It's trustless. Uh, The proposal process is the same for everyone. Uh, There's smaller proposal processes that happen through prop house and these other funding mechanisms but essentially what now is providing and what sort of crypto really as a whole is providing is these unique opportunities to fund projects which is why the focus on public goods and people and things and actual like real life places makes a lot of sense because these things otherwise i have to go through like many many hoops i feel like um, through traditional funding to receive any type of funding. There's just like a lot of gatekeeping in between and all the tape of everybody having to do these approvals. But here with the DAO, uh, that can just be a single proposal that gets a vote. Um, and so if you get the majority vote, it's funded. And so it really offers an opportunity for us to, as a community, come together and think about how we would solve these problems. Like what would our efforts be um, at different like scales of funding. And I appreciate the fact that you came in the room and are talking about these things and thinking about these things all the time. Cause I, I know that all of us are too. And then TNS here where you are, like definitely follow the clock that you see. That's the main host of the space. Um, we are huge believers of public good here. And like I said, like, you know, Davin, who's also here with the cute little otter PFP, um, all of these initiatives, there's lots of fun content uh, around them as well, too. But you'll see the kinds of things that Nouns does and that Nounish people and Nounish builders do. And I think it's completely in alignment with everything that you're thinking. And I think it's really cool that your kind of first introduction or even understanding that this was potentially an NFT project also came hand in hand with the fact that you can use NFTs for public goods and public services. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys. I'll stop interrupting, but thank you. Cheers. Fart fart noise incoming in four, for three, two, one. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> right on time. Uh, he's, not, he's nothing if not predictable, that's for sure. Damn it, I missed the picking of the new noun, but it looks dope, guys. Good job. We, uh, we, didn't we actually got rugged, but thanks. No, <laughs> thanks for what? The yeah. Yeah. We, we were actually trying to get another dino for German's friends because they wanted two in a row. Uh, but we got we got rugged. Actually, interesting soap, soap opera drama is uh, it did indeed get rugged by the person who didn't get his bid in quick enough. I, I get the psychology German's now. They, they're like, they heard us on the space saying, oh, we got the dino. They need another one now. Let's buy more another dino. And they're like, I just lost this auction, guys. Come on. I'm going to, I'm settling now without a dino so I can get them down tomorrow. 
I think that I feel they like did. I feel like these are wild, wild assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> more they likely, did immediately bid. To be fair, more likely this dude three. tried to bid on the noun, didn't win it. He's like, well, this is fucking bullshit, and then he just settled the noun as soon as he could have, and then bid on it. Uh, 33 maybe he thought he won it maybe he thought he won it he's like sweet settle and then he's gonna go check the wallet and like what it's not in there oh that could be because you know sometimes nouns does uh nouns forks and nouns do do that wow that was a tough sentence to get out but sometimes if you bid too late it will show you as the winner and but you're not actually the winner and then you have to like refresh. Well, they, I don't know if they that... have came back and they've got the only bid in so far. They just jumped straight to thirty three. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think they're just they're like kings. they were on tilt. They're like, I'm settling a noun I like and I'm bidding on it. Good night. Yeah, and then they just exactly. <laughs> Honestly, they I can respect it. Yeah, they buried themselves in the garden and they said, "We'll see you in the spring." The spring like, turn up's not coming up. I got up at anybody. three a.m. for this. What the hell? <laughs> What I want to know is, is it lit? It's lit turn up. Is it little turn up or is it like no, he's lit? It's lit. He's lit. lit turn up. No, I, I realize that, but I'm like, is it short for little or is it short for like, he's so lit right now? Like I reckon he's, so he's lit. lit turn like a lit one. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. There's an alliteration. There's a alliteration going on there. <laughs> lit turn up. I mean, we, maybe it's just his name and, and we're just completely insulting him. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not it's like, for it. That's my family name. <laughs> Gerard Letourneau. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why does that sound like a real name? <laughs> exactly. See, it makes you think. It really makes you think. All right. What it's else? All on the That's right. Um, have we? We've been going for an hour. Wow. And we haven't talked about anything. No, I'm just kidding. We've talked about lots of stuff. Um, anything else that we do want to chat about, though, before we call this light a night? Well, there's some prop house rounds running at the moment. Uh, one's in voting and two are in submission phase. Uh, let me just nice. double check what they are exactly. Uh, in, and I'm talking about um, in the Mounds prop house. Uh, explore. I, I, know a thing, I, I know a thing or two about prop house. I could probably give you a little a little update, Rooney. Yeah, cool. Uh, we've got... Two houses that are three houses actually that are live in the nouns house. Uh, so first of all, let's start with the this is nouns video proliferation challenge because that's one that we are actually kind of hosting from TNS. Well, it's it's me, Tony Hawk, and uh, Madrovsky, uh, the index card down there are hosting this basically as a an opportunity for anyone who loves the this is nouns video that was created and that was minted in uh, in prop number one ninety. Uh, it's an opportunity to take that video and do something fun with it. You can remix it. You can, you know, make a TikTok account to spread awareness of it. You can uh, make a Twitter campaign to spread awareness of it. I'm going to do a thread probably sometime tomorrow or Monday on some some free ideas for what you can do for that. But the the, the long and short of it is uh, there are four prizes up for grabs of 0 0.5 ETH, which with the recent pump in ETH is not a small chunk of change. Uh, that's like, that's what, 800 bucks USD? So... Those prizes are up for grabs, and all you have to do is put in a good idea for how to spread the meme of the This Is Nouns video. So that is open right now uh, for another week, basically, in a little bit. Um, then we've got the I think Sorry, again. If, if you committed to, like, personally just showing it to X amount of people, there could be a compelling argument that that's, like, a cool thing to do. Yeah, like, just one month, and you'll show it to, like, 10 people a day for a month. That's not bad. I mean, I'm not going to throw out the number. You throw out a number. I don't know what the number. I don't know what each individual is going to be. We, we don't know what the judges are going to say. We don't know. We don't want. Yeah. We don't want to say what number the judges will think is right. But yeah, I think know, it's seventy-three. Seventy-three. <laughs> I, I think if, that, if he was judging, it'd be seventy-three. One of the judges. I would go. With, I would go with sixty-nine, probably. But I mean, that's just you me. know how hard it would be to show <laughs> sixty-nine people a day. You'd have to like travel. You the just world. need a little. <laughs> no, no. What are your local like Kmart? Yeah, exactly. Walmart, so go to shops and set up like a, a little table. You know, don't don't. What you do is you day. just like a big TV. what you big do TV. is you just set up a pod called "This Is Nouns on the Ground," <laughs> and then you go <laughs> to different events and and you you tell That's them about one. the good news of "This Is Nouns." Exactly. That's a good one. Oh, good oh, news. oh! I got one. I'm going to show Freebie. it to Whoever four thousand people. Four thousand people, and then I'm going to show it to another like million people that walk through Union Station. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
That's like actually it. a good idea. You get a sandwich board. Where you get a sandwich board with a screen on it, and you just play the video and you walk around like New York or something. Yeah, I'm gonna buy yeah. buy the advertisement mm-hmm. space in Union Station, the most foot traffic place in Ontario, and I'm gonna buy it and it's gonna be mine, and then I'm gonna use it to play the nouns video in June the entire month. Okay, put that prop in. I want to see it. Let's go. L F. Well, it's going going in. It's going in. <laughs> Sounds like Put sounds like this is a good uh, brainstorming session. What, what's your best idea, Ben? How are you going to proliferate this as nouns? Well, uh, I, I think the the shopping center one's a good one. Or maybe, like where I am, actually, the beaches only have, like, very limited entries. And you could sit at the entry because you got to, like, get out of the way to let people pass. So you can be like, have you heard about nouns? And to everyone that comes past trying to get on the beach because it's, like, holiday season here right now. And they are everywhere. So, uh, do, you, do you have time to watch a three-minute video? Of my exactly. Yeah. <laughs> on, my, on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to be. It, that's that's hard to do trustlessly and anonymously. Be like, yeah, just go uh, sh- run up on a hundred people. <laughs> Look, you just got to stand know. in the what? pathway. They have know. to come past you. Everyone. That comes well, past. One thing I was to kind of think it would be cool is there's so many memeable images in that beautiful animated video. I think it'd be kind of cool if someone just went through and sliced up a bunch of the coolest um, like images or vignettes and made memes out of them and then and then put made a Twitter account or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Now you're talking. That's a good idea actually. If you like mm-hmm. my best idea costs a lot more than the win. Uh, but like I've been planning this for a little while. Uh, a a nouns bus with big LED walls on the outside. So you can just play anything on the outside that you want or put big screens up with novels or essentially change the bus design on the outside and uh, drive it into big cities, park up out in front of big events and just do do like some guerrilla marketing with a big bus. Ben's going to show up at the bus dealer. He's going to be like 822 US dollars, best I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I have a wacky, crazy idea for this is nouns. Okay, so we hire a family. Well, they're actors, but basically <laughs> okay. we have like a busy street corner. We're in Times Square. I don't know where we are, but we have like a okay, retro wait. TV. Hold on, like I'm a- going to stop you there for a second. You're, you're hiring a family, uh, and this involves a street corner. Okay, continue, Abtoshi. <laughs> Hope it gets better from here. The retro TV is there, a retro couch like from the 50s, yeah. and the family, a very coordinated like mom, dad, whatever, two kids. <laughs> that are dressed like the 50s are sitting there like watching the TV on the couch and like pointing at the TV like, oh my god, what is this? And it's just looping this is now and they sit there for like two hours and play this whole thing out. Amazing. Uh, is this, are, are they dressed like the Simpsons family or just a random I was, I was actually about to say, you know the meme where there's um, like the guys getting blown back on the chair by the TV and then there was a Homer Simpson version of that. Yes. I had a big poster of a Homer Simpson getting blown back on his chair in front of a TV I was like a statue of that of Homer laid back on a chair, being blown away by this TV while it's playing it. So people could all gather around and have a look. That'd be amazing. Yes, that's there so good. Go. And then you get people to like come and actually like want to watch, because like the easy version, I suppose. Like I was thinking, like you would just like tape up iPad to a headlamp. I don't know, and just like walk around the central station. <laughs> That's not that's not exactly like something you would approach. You'd be like, "Oh, I'm going to avoid that person at all costs." Yeah, yeah, but... this guy's weird. It's like the new <laughs> the, the new modern day um, beggar just cruising around trying to get people to scan his QR code. But you could uh, you could have a noun doing that same blown away person on a chair, the, the chair leaning back, the noun sitting there getting blown away by watching itself on TV. That'd be pretty cool. That's a cool idea. We had so many people made awesome nouns contests, sorry, uh, costumes, sorry, for the contest oh, at Halloween. So I mean, stupid they buddy ones. took one of those. The big stupid buddy ones yeah. are ready to go. Like we could just have them all on a couch, oh going God. back, leaning back, doing this. That'd be perfect. Except that's yeah, like, it's, that's it's like. Really the nouns. <laughs> stupid, stupid buddy's going to put in a prop for this is nouns and just blow everything, blow everyone away. <laughs> be like, we're going to make a, we're going to make a. 10 seconds spot for Adult Swim. Like, yeah, on, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to probably wouldn't want to leave. But, but that's a speaker, not a television. Oh, yeah. In the meme? Well, I mean, you could change it. Anything's changeable. Memes are remixed. I think, I think the Homer one might have been a TV then. If the original was the speaker, maybe Homer was sitting in front of the TV. 
If only we all had access to an all-knowing oracle that we could we could check while live. Uh, maybe one day. You never know. How long is this? Oh, is yeah, now? It could, it could, it could be described. It could be called something about like the sum of all of the numbers, something like Google or something like that. That's a stupid idea. Uh, Josh, yeah, it'll probably never take off. <laughs> Rude. No, I had to talk about that. I'm going to start the segment bit, but only talk about uh, noun square summaries. Noun square summaries. Oh, sorry, sorry to the main track. No, I'm no, right, no. I'm right. trying to, I was just trying to tell Joshua that calling Google this idea stupid was part of the joke and, and not really calling RFG stupid, but continue. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so noun square summaries, the noun square summaries uh, is run by Joseph, and he writes essentially, I don't know how he does this, like, does he listen back to the whole space and write like a, like a summary of, of what is happening? Uh, but I just pinned the tweet up top, and he just did something for Nas, I really loved it, the disruption model for uh, Red Bull ex- Extreme Sports. And uh, just to just to highlight what he's talking about in that summary, he's talking about the newly launched that's Nali, that's not it's that's not ly, and uh, it's where Nas was sort of, you know, making history, making history. Small, small, but you can check it out. Quite big, but it's small, small. You can check it out and uh, subscribe. Follow noun summaries for those of you who are not able to catch the spaces. You could be able to just read a summary of it after the space is done. So yeah, yeah. Shout out, yeah, shout out, shout out, Square Summaries, man, they're killing it. They won a prop house round, our first prop house round back in November, and uh, but even before they won that round, they were they were doing this anyway, just because they love the community and they wanted to to help out in some way. So one day we woke up and we had a team meeting. We were like, so who's doing these summaries? Because I don't I don't know who's doing them, and we we honestly didn't know. So it was, it's kind of a cool like artifact of CC Zero that we woke up one day and someone was just doing daily summaries of our spaces on on a new Twitter account. Uh, yeah, just because. That was pretty cool. Unironically, like, and I've said this as I said it as, as much as the in team meetings, but it's worth repeating. They have saved me hours of work after spaces, like figuring out for quotes and stuff like that, just cataloging. Literally hours. Do you yeah, guys sure. ever try uploading the audio to Rocco.dev and seeing what it spits out? I don't know have if we have we? done that with the spaces. Have I don't we? think we have. Yeah. Someone yeah, it's available, it's available right, right now. You could, up, you could upload audio and it'll do the auto translation. We should try and that. The su- and the summary. But I don't think it's going to be very good at like <laughs> discerning when we're all talking over each other. That's probably going to be tough. <laughs> no, Rocco, Rocco's going to be like, uh, Nine O'Clock Light at the Noun Square was an alcohol advertisement that aired on... <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. I I just realized I wasn't talking about Homer at all. It's Bart, and I just pinned it so you can have a look at the poster I made. Is it a TV, though? Yeah, yeah, it's a TV. It's a TV. This is the poster I had when I was a kid. It's like it's a vintage poster. That's just so hot, dude. Now. Such yeah, a sick poster. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of nounish, too. Why is he wearing noun glasses? Exactly. Dude. He's already got noggles on. We You're the coolest poster, are dude. That idea, but recreating that with nouns. Exactly. It's all got to be nouns, the nounish family photo on the wall, and then they're watching all actual nouns videos on the old school TV. That's it's genius. Dude, that is so good. Um, but it shouldn't even be on a TV. It should just be on a cell phone. <laughs> Let's do this outside East Denver. <laughs> Eventually, Josh's version doesn't even look like the meme anymore. It's just a guy sitting in a chair looking at a phone. <laughs> <laughs> you could... could do the same effect with a cell phone, <laughs> or 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 with a big wall with like a projection on it of the this is now is just like playing on the wall. I, oh, I think like the the, uh, the wall of nouns they had in Art Basel. Well. Basel, however you think... pronounce that, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool to have. Yeah, in, in front of a big sliding screen of them like that would be pretty sick. But I think the old school TV plays into the pixel art quite well. Like people look at this old school TV. And have probably yeah. have a modern screen in it, so you can program it really easily instead of using an old actual CRT screen. Um, yeah, and it makes the connection of like the old world and the new world. Yeah. Exactly. Alternatively, we can just make a new uh, like '50s style nouns commercial. And what are the nouns? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. Who told you you could speak, robot um, girl? I actually just <laughs> want to do this now because 
I, I just want to do this now, like maybe for the resort two stuff that we're doing in Japan, and just have like a a little section set up because like we're setting up an area like most of the events do, where you can get photos and selfies and stuff. Maybe this is what it is instead of like big now cutouts and things. We have like a full three D immersive situation with a real noun sitting there. That'd be sick. You get selfies with it and like act like you're getting blown away next to the chair and stuff. I said we go for groaning versus Gremlin and get Grem to do all that whole episode in his own style. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> that Hell so yeah. Oh my god, that would be insanity. Yeah. Yeah. Where is he? Let's go. Let's go we'll tag him about. I mean, we all know that groaning is a tr- is a time traveler, right? So maybe that's why there's now glasses on Bart. Hey, do you ever think yeah, about that? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, I think we're looking at something here. You guys want we me to drop it. a little alpha late night? Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, obviously. Did it come Hold out on. of that chip packet you're eating out of? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to go back. And then. All right. So, like, when you when you were talking about Gremlin and verse growing, like that was like an interesting reminder of like what Mark Horowitz is putting together with Worst DAO. It's going to be like on chain governance of da- like Dare, so it's going to be called like. Uh, rug or dare so you could either like do what the the DAO asks you to do or you can like rug the DAO and if you rug the DAO like you know that's not the best look but it depends on what they ask you I I missed missed the first few seconds Josh I'm sorry Mark Horowitz from worst case decision he's starting the worst DAO okay and and that's what the governance is going to be about like rug or dare so you can like rug the DAO or you could like do the thing that the DAO asks you to do. <laughs> oh my god! I, I saw you guys talking I about this. The contract for this. Sorry, just guys. some alpha. Just alpha, yeah. Yeah, I missed. I missed the context, and it sound you for some reason the tone of your voice and like the way you were describing this made it sound like you were describing a like complicated board game, <laughs> like, like you're just going to like settlers of Catan or something. <laughs> There's some the subtle complication to it, yeah. The code yeah. Of, that's been Goldie yeah, made is amazing. Complicated video games. Did everybody see the video that Goldie posted? Oh, we got a pin. Yeah, 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 it's so in good. Yeah, so so pin that. Good. Oh my I'll god. I'll pin it. I'll find it. Give me a sec. Oh my god, such a good one. Uh, yeah, I'm sure she saw it. it and then was just like, I "Robot, have you seen this?" It's Let's so just all good. pin it. <laughs> is there a yeah. way uh, there's no way I, I almost feel like we should do a watch party of it right now but I don't know if it'll make sense well, I'll do it so, I'll watch it right now alright let's 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 watch it one second I have to find it on my computer <laughs> it's already pinned way... no no I, I realize that but now I have to go on my computer to, to play wait should it. we do like a countdown <laughs> no 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 I, I'm going to play it and you... oh I see what you're going to say so you can follow along okay yeah we can so just make, all watch make it sure you got it up. I'm going to play play the sound and I'll play it in <laughs> apparently right now. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. A brand new gaming experience. Eight to twelve players, two wizards, <laughs> a, corporal, a corporal, and a ledgerman. Now the ledgerman just keeps score, and he wears <laughs> this hat. Totally. Now the object is to accumulate cones, or cones wins. But in order to get a cone, you have to build a civilization. The other amazing thing is. The challenge play. Actually, let me tell you more about the trivia cards because you didn't even know about Rogue. <laughs> oh, good. The challenge play is it's basically the game in reverse. Then you roll three dice to see how many <laughs> dice you roll. Oh, clean, perfect. Lots of choices. Okay, each turn goes roll by action. I mean, obviously, this would be much taller in the real game. <laughs> but the purple <laughs> cones be, they should be green too. Are the cones a metaphor? Well, yes and no. What is, what is this called again? The cones of Dunshire. Oh my god. <laughs> I should be able to trade lumber for culture credits. How have I not thought of this before? This is nothing, right? Um, when do you go back to work again? Tomorrow. It's fine. I'll just throw this in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Good. Uh, you gotta watch it. I feel yeah. very called out because that's how I am with nouns and also every game I've ever played. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
I mean, we've all had that moment where we thought we could like invent a board game, and we all know how badly it can go. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that was my main income Ooh. before this thing. Describe describe your board game invention moment, Toadie. What what were well, you going to do? I don't I don't can't think of one offhand, but I will say though that we did have a conversation. <laughs> yes, you can. You had so many. You had so many of them. Five? I had so many. Yeah. I could choose one. No, but I can yeah. tell a story though. I can tell a board game related story, which is one time in the DMs with four one five six, we were talking about how awesome it would be to do like a, a noun square board game. Like it would be like cranium, but like nounish. And I still think there's something there. And obviously, oh I'm my god, obviously, can can the noun square do settlers of noun tan? <laughs> we, we probably can. not call it that, but the similar <laughs> hexagonal setup, yes. I think the, the, the crazy thing is the noun square is a great name for a, for a board game, right? Yeah, uh, we yeah. would just leave it as the noun square, the game. Or oh, now, y'all literally have a game designer right here. Like this is. <laughs> Can you guys just Yo, stop put it on chain? Get funded. Let's go, y'all. To the popular board games. <laughs> put that I can't thing on stop, chain, and I won't stop. <laughs> if you got a game, put it on chain. That's all I'm saying. How do? How about now? No, no. Why like, are you I'm, speaking in limericks? <laughs> I, I really didn't mean to do that. <laughs> hey, it was the better incredible. Question is, the better question is, when is Josh Fisher not talking in limericks, actually? I, I really, it really wasn't on purpose, though. How is it Dude, not board games concept? are so freaking nounish. And, like, all of board games, like, major ones, got their kick, or, sorry, got their start on Kickstarter. But yeah. nouns and funding is, like, very kind of much the same vibe. I do think there's something there for sure. I, it's been in my like to-do pile for quite some time. So I'm sure someone might steal it now and that's okay. Cause that's CC zero at work. Uh, but I do think there's something there for sure. We are working on a, on a TTRPG uh, for nouns. We being, uh, you know, an ambiguous group consisting of like me, the rat pack and a few other people. What's a TTRPLG? Uh, a a TTRP, a tabletop role-playing game. Like, like D and D. Ah, gotcha. You know, gotcha. I have a crazy story myself. I once made a board game, and I still have it. Of course you did. I forgot what's it called. Yeah. First of all, of course you did. But second of all, well, please tell us. It, it doesn't actually have a name, but it's it's just like a, a roll the dice and you move a certain amount of spaces each time, little car game. I made it in primary school. Like I was probably seven years old or something, and I kept it mm. forever because I, I got an old backgammon fold-out board that's like a little briefcase-style one. And I built my own boards and put it inside that. So it's like this nice little thin briefcase and easy to store. So I've just he calls it, it. Uh, he calls it serpents and staircases. It's very unique. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's just like a little go kart track, race track kind of thing. And you land in puddles and then you spin out and have to go back a few spaces and shit like that. That's awesome. That sounds so much. That, that literally sounds like one of my favorite one sheets. Sorry, a, a one sheet is a game that only it, all of the rules fit on one piece of paper. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, called yeah. called Crash Pandas, where you play as uh, everybody is a different raccoon, and you're all trying to drive the same car <laughs> <laughs> through like an cool. LA drag race. I played uh, I played Crash the game Panda of life, too. Junior, cool. with my nieces at Christmas time, and they beat me, and it was I would, was not trying to lose. Either, I had to, did you go I to had to confess that? Did it you was... go to college or did you go straight to work? Um, well, I I did go to college, but I don't think that had any bearing on whether I would win the game or not. I I, I always have that because I always think the same thing. It just oh, you mean you, like, in the game? Oh, in. you mean in the game? Sorry, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, it puts no, you, like three steps ahead. Actually, the, the the new junior one is is way different. You just like go to see. You just go on vacation basically everywhere. It's it's really bad example to set for kids. Go on vacation and take selfies. <laughs> yeah, we were like this real life one is just too not fun. They're, we're making them go to college, work, have children, fill up their vans. Let's just send no, them don't all do on that vacation. That's, that was the best part of the game. Like, the only good part of the game of life is that you got to put your little kids in the in the car. But now <laughs> now that you don't even get to do that anymore, they take all the good things away. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> I really don't like that game right now. <laughs> well, you didn't get beat by a, by a two-year-old and a four-year-old at it, so, you know, maybe that's why you're not as biased. 
<laughs> I think you know what I'm gonna say. No, I have no idea. Okay, I know what you. I do <laughs> take a guess. <laughs> <clears throat> Go ahead. Get good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is actually fair. But if you have to lose a board game, though, it is good to lose it to people that you can look like you probably let them win. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah right. that is if fair. If Aptoshi beats me in a board game, she's never going to let me live it down. But, I mean, my niece is probably yeah. forget. Already. I mean, uh, you're, you're talking to a person that used to make their own dice towers, so we really just don't even want to cross that line, you know? Okay. I like our Joshua, Joshua Fisher, the polite shark. Go ahead. I did have one more piece of alpha we are launching our poet highlight reel contest tomorrow alpha. wait is yeah. that tonight it's launching tonight well it's launching tomorrow but if you're here listening because we gotta we gotta like send out the link tomorrow? like today t- yeah like today like, like today, in a few tomorrow? hours like, Think, things like you a, only hear on the noun square less than like today tomorrow less than 14 <laughs> hours from now how about that yes It'll be launched. That's amazing. Tell us, about this, tell us about this, this contest. It sounds interesting. Well, it's the first contest, uh, I believe, from the Noun Square, where the prize will be a pair of Noun's Vision glasses and FTs. What? Uh, no. That's like nearly half an ETH worth. They, they were minting for 0.44 ETH. I think from memory. I think you could probably get some secondary a bit cheaper, but still not cheap. These noggles are not cheap, so it's a pretty cool price. Yeah, yeah and they'll, luxury, they'll be able to be... From you get yeah. the well, you get the NFT. And... <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you yeah, can well, turn the yeah. NFT in if, if you want to for the glasses. Yeah, gas-only transaction. But yeah, you could actually sell that for ETH too. That's right. You can do whatever you like. So it's gonna be cool. I'm, I can't wait to see what people do. We have so much cool art. I, I was, uh, uh, yeah, I'm I just excited to see it. But what did they have to do? Like, what is the more. contest to win these glasses? Well, I think the idea is that we really want to show and highlight all the art that we've done. Yeah, like, highlight all these the two hundred oh, plus art. shows. So, <laughs> like, some people might like do one thing another person like we've seen in our last highlight reel a lot of people took a lot of different tactics uh i would suggest if you're going to enter you should like go back and see some of those and like see which ones ultimately ended up getting the most votes and then winning you could um, draw your own gallery you could create an on cyber gallery you could make like a oh that's a good gallery. idea Cal i never thought of that beyond cyber that would be really dope yeah you could do like an on cyber and then what like record like walking through it or something and like Show yeah, it yeah. like that. Yeah, that would exactly. be really sick. Yeah, yeah. Get your metaverse on. Should I put it? Should I put awesome. all our po apps in the in the Chimper's dojo? I, I've I, got to uh, rename. You can't them win, all, but go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Uh, I think I should go through and rename them all before we share the link because they're they're like some of them's called like po app number and then some are just numbers and then it's like noun square po app they're all different so they're not in so order. some of them are here's your fucking po app <laughs> like ben's just <laughs> yeah. Really... <laughs> yeah please clean that up before we go public then that'd be great yeah, <laughs> yeah. take I'm it on. damn you dot png <laughs> is this what you want dot <laughs> ETH <laughs> every uh, day they said dot png <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's there's even a, an extra folder in there of 24 hour po apps because we did 25 po apps one day. So like that, that was cool. So I'm I'm just looking at this tweet from earlier today. We did a fun little game earlier today. GM builders, artists, and nouns Dow fans. Let's play a little game. Say it back, and we will reply with a custom noun for you. Got to give a shout out to Symbiotech and Robot Fish Girl for making a shit ton of nouns. Uh, this it was mostly Symbio. <laughs> What was that tweet is sitting at twelve thousand impressions? That's incredible. So I mean, we were not really trying to engage with Fern. We just wanted to play a fun game. But hey, um, we'll take it. That's that's pretty fun. And we didn't even put a requirement to re- retweet. Imagine if we'd done that. Maybe next time we'll we'll put that in there. But anyway, it was fun. It was. And if you go to that, we should pin it because uh, it's fun to just scroll through actually and look at all the different 
all the different nouns. Next time on Blooms in Season, we discuss a slightly different sort of farming, engagement farming, where we go over different... <laughs> That's right. But it, 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 engagement farming, if you do it transparently and for fun, it's not like it is fun. Yeah. It's not inherently bad, right? Like you're just like I'm trying to have fun and like you know engage with people. That seems like something we would encourage in life. But is, when you do it in a tricky way, where you try to like trick people, that's where the problems come in. Yeah, I think it has that implication a little bit of like. And people just post things to be provocative or whatever. That's kind of the um, the negative connotation to it. But I, I agree. I mean, there's engagement farming, and then there's just posting f- funny shit that people want to interact with. Well, I did it. I did it really poorly because I went into everyone's profiles and tried to make it personal if I hadn't uh, interacted with them before and like scrolled their feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you did an meaningful. awesome job of that. I, I try to do that too, but it's hard sometimes because sometimes they have nothing on their profile. And, but you did a really good job. I was going through some of them, and they were all pretty clever how you tied them into to the people, uh, to the names. I'm sure they appreciated it, too. So. Uh, yeah, it was maybe, awesome. Maybe we'll see some of them change their PFPs over to it now. You never know. You was, never did you know. see, like, a favorite one or, like, one that really stood out to you as funny or something? Okay, hold on. Well, i got to scroll through. Maybe what we can do is uh, RFG can do the PO app, and I'll, I'll find. I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. So POAP stands for Proof of Attendance Protocol, for those who haven't been here before. Uh, we, we, it's a free NFT that we pass out every single day. You can download the application to get them by going to poap.xyz. That is P-O-A-P dot X-Y-Z. And you go ahead and you download the app on your mobile device. And then you will go to the bottom right-hand corner and tap the mint button then you tap the secret word button and today's secret word is and my soundboard isn't working Uh, (laughs) you know what good enough good enough today's today's secret word is every day they said 007 that is e (laughs) V E R Y D A Y T H E Y S A I D 007. Every day they said 007. They did say that. And then you have to play this ridiculous game. I'm still upset about it. I'm not going to lie. The other day, I just ah. like halfway through the game couldn't take it anymore, and I didn't even get the PO app. I know. I told I told Patricia that happened to me too, and hopefully yeah, they're going to under two minutes. Hopefully they're going to take some of this feedback to, into. This is just an alpha I, of this, but the secret to this game, I realized we, the secret to this game is you you have to download the old PoAP app and go back to a time when there was no game before you get the PoAP. So that's, that's what I. That's what your, I do. your alpha <laughs> is just uh, use your alpha is cheap. Yeah, a different version. <laughs> I got it with a minute 11 on the clock left. Ooh. Nobody, nobody. Hey, cares, right? what the hell? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm still in the 500, it. but I barely, oh God, this is not I've good. done it like four times now, five times. I'm getting better and better. That's what Patricio said too. He said that after you've done it a bit, you start to get better at it, but you really need to focus. Like, yeah. yeah like, not, uh, like, yeah, like what the heck? Host, like not be hosting a show at the same time, for example. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does make it difficult. I, I think it's just like, now that this is a thing, there's there's a two minute window now where everyone's just like it's cool to be silent while we're doing this. We just need the POAP music that goes for two minutes, and <laughs> we're we're all playing POAP. I honestly, when is, you where are they going to roll out POAP Plus and just let me pay for it? I just do a button back. <laughs> I just click on all the circles until the correct ones are just picked in order. So I'm just just doing a lot of punching on the screen. That's it's actually, funny you mentioned that, Joshua, because with this rollout. Idea. With this rollout, they actually did introduce uh, the ability to charge for POAPs as well. So that is another option. Now, I don't know yeah, if the charged POAPs have the game. I imagine probably not. I mean, there's uh, no yeah. reason that POAPs should be completely free forever, right? I don't think that that's like a necessarily like a fair expectation. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, 
actually think like if you know they've implemented this kind of thing, uh, there is room for potentially charging a small amount to um, to to not have that barrier. But in saying that, <laughs> maybe that's I... why they made the game so unbearable. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't want to play by the, the game by the anymore. Way, <laughs> by, by the way, you asked me for one that stood out uh, from Symbiotex. I think this was Symbiotex response. Um, so, so one one person, Humpty Calderon, said GM, and he responded with an egghead on on brick body. Oh. That, was, that was pretty good. I thought amazing. That's yeah, really all good. The, all the deep fried horses and all of his men could not put uh, Humpty back together again. So I like that one. <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll play this again this game again soon if you didn't get a chance to participate. Hell yeah. Uh, what else should we do? I know we gotta get uh, a retweet picker winner. That's one thing. I can do that. Oops. I just I tried to copy the space in order to do the retweet picker, and I accidentally pinned the space that we're in in the space that we're in. Ah, I'm leaving it. Meta, very very meta. <laughs> I did. The it's like it's like when you post the first tweet in a thread at the end of the thread, only redundant because nobody's gonna see this. <laughs> They're not here. Hey, bro, we heard you like the space, so we put a link to the space in your space so you can share it with people who like spaces. I think you might have just <laughs> made right. a time machine, kind of like that Stephen Wright joke <laughs> about coffee in the microwave or instant coffee in the microwave. Well, you can't tease us like that. What's, what's the joke? The punchline is I almost went back in time. I put instant coffee in the microwave and almost went back in time. <laughs> <laughs> That's there pretty good. That's pretty good. You know a joke is good when it's still funny even after being deconstructed and then reconstructed in real time. Uh, I have a winner. I have a winner. Does anyone have a drum roll? <laughs> that was that was a lot of things. The winner is Hunter. Hunter, join K18. He's got noggles in his name, and uh, he's the winner. He is the winner of 0 0.069. ETH, congratulations, Hunter. I'll send you a quick DM here. Followed you back. Sent you a DM. Congrats. And you have won 0 0.069. ETH, please send us your wallet address post haste, and we will get in touch. And I think that's all we've got for tonight. We're, uh, we've, we've gone on quite long. I feel like our light shows, for some reason, go on longer than our our formatted guest shows. I'm not sure why that is. We ignore the structure that we usually have, and instead we just end up bantering with each other for hours on end. And all of us work in media, so naturally none of us know how to shut up. <laughs> all right. I mean, these are I'm all, guilty. These are all just theories, but... What's a, what's a good song about a bell? You can uh, ring my bell. Yeah, me and Josh are the same wavelength. Like yeah. Saved by the bell theme. Ring saved by the bell, bell theme. Would be the best. <laughs> oh, I like saved by the bell. I like that. Sorry. I got to go with that. Keen song. And we're live. Except my internet's very slow. I think I've got up Toshi's internet as well. Not sure how, but somehow. <laughs> it's not the bad guys. Not what I heard. I don't think I'll ever make it on time. All right, guys. Rugged by the bell. <laughs> Rugged by the bell. Live on. <laughs> that was guys, almost the morning. clap word. It was almost right, rugged by morning. the bell. And then I, you said every day forever. And I went, okay, fine. We're doing that one. <laughs> by the way, this song's only a minute, so don't banter too much. <laughs> See you tomorrow, same time, and now the clock. <laughs>